it's Don the Auction Professor. Today we're going to show you some more items that I sold. It's been a little while since I did another What Sold on eBay video. So here we go right now. So this came out of a little mom pa thrift store. It was in a quarter bin and one of those little baskets sitting on the counter. I bought a whole bunch of little pins. These are just simpleton enamel pins. This is a 50-year member of the Eastern Star. It's a fraternal organization, basically. It's something you should know that emblem of for sure, because most of their items have some sort of value to them. Quarter purchase, I sold it for $24.50. Uh, it's been up for just over a year. No problem to me at all. Even the listing fees for an entire year at best would be $0.60. Cents. So maybe I got a dollar into it plus eBay fees. So I'm making $20 off of this purchase here. Now this next one's one of the free sheet musics that I have. I have nothing into this whatsoever. This is an offer to a watcher. I sent it out for $37.50. I have a second one of these already up right this very second with watchers so this one went for 37.50 i would imagine i'd sell the second one for the same price as well or at least that is my ballpark price for it this is a world war one 27th division sheet music it's a military themed one it actually has their division emblem on the cover as well being held by the lady on the front it's all profit less the fees on this one. So a really nice example. This next one's a bananas yearbook. Now, if you went to school back in the 70s and even into the 80s, bananas was a thing you could get at a school book sale. Sometimes you could buy them from the library as well, too. I remember these coming out. I remember having the order forms to fill out for them and trying to get my mom to get some of these. Fair faucets on this one, so that's the big seller on this one. Fourteen fifty is what I got out of it, plus postage, just like on every other item. Travolta's on the cover, but I would say he's secondary, just because Farah has since passed, and most of her items are going up and up. That's a future investment for sure, something with Farrah faucet in it. This next one here is a broken cuckoo clock. Now, I talk about these quite often. I paid $5 for it. It has the weights, the whole works. The buyer paid for shipping. It sold for $37.50. It was an offer to a watcher. I'm fine. It's been up for maybe four or five months. I figure $20, $25 on most of these. Now, a lot of people will think these are worth a lot of money because the carved wood and such forth and will sink a lot of money into them and then find out later that they just don't sell for very much. Most of these sorts of things, even if they work, they don't go for a fortune. Millions of these sorts of things were made in the Black Forest area, through Germany, the Alps, all over in that area. Very collectible item either way. The mechanisms inside this are German. You can see the name on here, Bachmeier and Klemmer. It's a well-known brand. There are just a ton of them. They're not high quality. It's something I still look for. $5 investment. I'm making almost 30 bucks profit. It's been up for, as I said, about four months. So at the very, very most, I have 20 cents in the listing. And so can't go wrong. Now I've talked about cigarette packs and things along that line many times. I even have a video on that specifically. Here's a pack of cigarettes, an empty pack. It's the cardboard wrapper basically around it. I sold this one for $225. Now for those in Patreon, you know my pricing scheme, so you know about where my price comes in at at my list price. So, and I've said it many, many times. It's an excellent sale in my book. This one piece here paid for all of the ones that I bought at the same time. So, investment wise i don't mind holding on to something it's something that will sell for a couple hundred bucks if i don't mind waiting sometimes if i list things up high like this they will sell for that list price say 650 bucks so this is the third wrapper i've sold from a collection that i acquired from an estate sale very happy with this again all of my money comes back and i made a little bit of profit off of this one sale from a big bulk purchase now here we have a bridge tally card now many people aren't even sure what that is these early ones like this this is from 1904 was something that was probably custom printed and then someone tied the ribbon on there on the top but the punch marks on the bottom dictate that this is a tally card these are specifically tied to bridge. So if you want to know anything else about it, look up bridge on a Google search and you'll be able to look into pretty much what this is used for as well. 
Now, tally cards sell on eBay very, very well. I find them all over the place. The majority of the ones that were printed were printed around 1910 through around 1940. There's movie stars on them and all kinds of different things. Some tally cards can go for hundreds of dollars. Love these sorts of things. Very happy with this one. It sold for $25. Here's a dollar record. This is a purchase from a picker. It sold for $50. Tangerine Record Corp. This is Bobby Joy. This is a nice northern soul again if you don't know the term northern soul i would honestly look it up the majority of our high dollar records are all northern soul rockabilly or rhythm and blues so excellent example here of this record mid price range happy with it a dollar purchase as i say here we have another 8x10 military photo this is actually printed by boeing this is a test photo advertising their jet it's a strato jet um, you can see the designation in there. I've got hundreds of these sorts of things. They all sell very well. This one I took 30 on. I sell five or six of these every single week. Really good investment. I buy them in bulk, sometimes a thousand or more if I can get them that big. Most of the time, though, it's a few hundred at a shot. Here we have a Christmas card. It's a promotional item from Lion Coffee. This is something that was printed here locally, and I do find these in my local area quite often. This is just a vintage Christmas card given away by a store shop who would have sold their Lion Coffee or one of their other products. It has an interesting image on the front with the nautical captain in the storm. It sold for $32.50, so very happy with this one. I've just got a dollar or two in it at best. Now this next one's a wildlife card. This is for Tang Mole's Owl. Not even sure on that species of owl, but it's rather interesting has a Native American in a canoe with a crescent moon. It's an excellent image here. I sold this one for 50 bucks. Now this one sold to someone who's into owls, most obviously. Excellent card here. It's from a series of bird cards, if I'm not mistaken. Nice example for 50 bucks. Now this next item here is from a Dodge Plymouth dealership. Something they probably gave away with a car, or it's maybe an advertising piece. It went for almost $60. This is something I paid a quarter or so for at a junk sale somewhere. I don't even honestly remember, but I know I didn't pay much for it. It went again, as I said, for almost $60 plus shipping. Very happy with the sale. It's an interesting item to say the least. Now here we have a tobacco card from Goodwin, and this is a Gypsy Queen cigarettes advertising card. This one I took 30 bucks on. It's been up for a little while. Very happy with that. Now I buy big collections of these sometimes. Most of the time they're either from estate sales or baseball shops or even baseball ball card collectors and many times they bought them in an auction or somewhere else so these do extremely well for us now this was up for maybe five or six months that's about 30 or 35 cents at the very most in listing fee so that's nothing so and i've got pennies into this it was bought in bulk as i said next one's a piece of sheet music here now i paid a dollar for this one here it did sell for 17.50 my asking price alvis i don't mind paying a dollar or two for most of them most of them don't go for a ton of money, as you see my start price on them, but they always sell. Now, something like this, I would just put it up and forget about it. Wouldn't even go back and look at it, as long as the pictures is about as good as you see it here. Decent title. Someone's going to know what this is very readily. It's going to sell. Any one of Elvis's pretty much will sell for us, as long as they're from the 50s or even into the 60s. Some of the 70s ones will drag a little bit, while others could sell for some big money. So, nice example here. Now, here we have six comic books from the Sergeant Fury line by Marvel. Now, there's ones going back to 12 cent covers in this lot. I think I have maybe a quarter to 50 cents a piece into these. So, at the very most, I got a couple bucks invested into these. Now, I did sell these for 40 bucks. It was an offer. I was very fine with that. These will sit. I'll put these up and I'll just forget about them. I don't care if they sit up there for a month. 10 months or what, they always seem to sell. Comic books I can't keep in the house someday. Now here we have a roller skating label. Now this is something someone would put on their case that they held their roller skates in. So rather interesting. I took 30 bucks plus shipping on this one. Not in the best condition, but it's from a rare area. Most of these are fairly scarce. I don't mind holding on to something like this. I pay a dollar or two a piece for most of them, sometimes a few bucks more if they're really nice or something really interesting, but excellent example here. Now here's a reel-to-reel -reel tape from Concer Tapes, some company. This is a catalog advertising some of their wares. It's an interesting one, seven and a half inches per second, IPS for reel-to-reel -reel players. 
Now, some reel-to-reels take a specific type of player, so you have to know a little bit about these to understand it. This is a two-channel stereophonic recording, an earlier one. Two channels were some of the earliest versions of these. I took 50 bucks on it. Excellent sale in my book. You see me buy this in a video a month or two ago for five bucks with a lot of about 30 or 40 other reel-to-reels. Now that lot, that purchase has made us almost a thousand bucks back. So excellent example. I'm still selling these from months ago constantly. So and I sold another one the same week from the same lot. And this last one here is a die cut from the Victorian era. This would have been a decoration that would have hung on a wall somewhere around the tree or something along that line. This is a thick cardstock piece with multiple cutouts all the way around it. As you can see, excellent example of this sort of thing. I sold it for 175 bucks. Very happy with the price. Now I bought a bunch of these, 30 or 40 of these for just a few bucks each. And I've been selling them quite regularly. So we've made a ton of money back from those as well purchase of all these decorations has already made us well over a thousand dollars for a very small investment. Hopefully that gives you some ideas on what some of these sorts of items can go for, but that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. One new customer doesn't seem like much either. But remember, she represents a family. And one new family can mean an increase in sales of $900 to $1,200 a year.